<laughs> Hi, Hi Floss Tube. Tube. I'm Nancy. I'm Laura. And, and we, we are, are the Addicted, Addicted Sisters. Sisters. So we had a lot of comments this yes, week. Yes, thank you. And I know you guys all liked our video from Picture This Plus, mm -hmm. um, especially the part at the end where it decided to turn us yeah. upside down. We were very <laughs> So I'm learning more about my iPad, and I didn't realize that when I made it turn back around to us, that it would put us upside down. <laughs> so it was, That was a fun surprise. It was. And, <laughs> and when I was, I had watched the beginning of it, and my husband was helping, and he had watched the beginning of it, and neither of us had gone all the way through oh, to the end. Oh, too funny. So that's why it was like that. Too yep. funny. So uh, shout outs this week. Nancy, Nancy and I had an exciting thing happen. Yes, we did. We met one of you. It was so cool. I'm going to let you tell about it because you had first contact. Well, um, we just happened in at Picture This Plus. And I was coming downstairs. Laura had already gone through and gone downstairs and was talking with Marilyn. And I was coming down the steps. In the back room. In the yeah, back room. Yeah, in the secret room. And... I was coming down the steps and I heard, are you one of the sisters? And, you know, it just didn't hit me. She's talking about addicted sisters. And I'm like, yeah, my sister's in the back room. <laughs> and she's like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. So she shouted this out. She's like, you're one of the addicted sisters. Nobody's going to believe this. <laughs> So I went and got Laura, and we came out and talked with her for a little bit. Nancy came to the back and said, Laura. You need to come out here. And that's all she said. And I thought, oh, my. And on the way out, she said, we've been spotted. <laughs> so it was really exciting for yeah. us because we keep missing people yeah, out at CC very and Company. Fun. Very so, fun. Yes. And the woman we met was Sheila Kossel, I believe is how she says her name. We, we hope we're not butchering your yeah. last name, Sheila. But... Tell your husband, neener, 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 yeah. you really did meet us. So, yeah, yep. that was fun. That made our day. So, thank you very much. It really did. And we took a picture with her, mm -hmm. and we both looked awful. awful. <laughs> oh, we were my such gosh. a mess. But that's okay. It was fun to yeah. meet somebody. Yeah, it was so. still fabulous. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, then. Some other, oh, some other shout outs. I have watched Flannel Jammies Farm this week, and I've only watched a couple of them so far because this, it's been a short week, and it's been really yeah. crazy. Yeah, we're filming early this week because we're heading out of town tonight and going to be gone the weekend, so. Mm -hmm. We will be filming from Picture This Plus yes. tomorrow. And then Heart's Desire. Either tomorrow or... Mm -hmm. Saturday. Saturday. Our days really have run together. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, but I enjoyed Flannel Jammy's Farm. She's got some lovely things that she she's does. showing. She does and... have some nice projects. Mm -hmm. And then um, I watched Paulette Stewart. Um, Plum Street. Plum St <laughs> Thank you. Plum Street <laughs> Sampler. And I really enjoyed her first video. I got a kick out of your animals, that. Paulette, because <laughs> they just would not cooperate and yeah. leave you alone. <laughs> and we fun. know that feeling. So Yes, we do. So we, uh, I don't think we've had it on video yet, but sometimes when we close the door in Nancy's room here, who is it? Well, it's either of them, but the last time it was Sunny, my big fluffy yellow cat. He comes and bangs on our door. He's just begging to come in. <laughs> so, and you? I also wanted to um, give a shout out to Paulette. She really enjoyed my uh, Victor and Irina that I showed last week. So, thank you. I'm glad you're watching. It was really sweet. She wrote, you've breathed new life into Victor and Irina. I'm so happy. Thank you for showing it. And I thought that was really sweet. Yes. So, I, I sent Nancy a message, and in all caps, it says, Paulette Stewart <laughs> just commented <laughs> on your piece. So It was very fun. Thank yeah. you. And we both liked Plum Street. Oh, yeah. So, oh, it was yeah. really fun that that happened. Um, we have several of you that have said, what is the name of your Facebook group? I'd like to check it out. 
Well, the group that we currently run is a closed group and it's closed just because um, it's a very small retreat and it's a small retreat because of where we have it. Right, right. So it's got a lot of parameters around it. So, you know, we hated to open that one up to everybody and then have to say, oh, no, well, you can't come to that because, you know, I can only have this many people. Mm -hmm. And um, our ladies that came this year would be very upset with us if they didn't get to come next yes. year. <laughs> so, yes. so we're keeping that group small. But we've started talking and planning about hosting a second retreat. Yeah. And that one, we will figure out what we're going to call the group. And, um, and then we'll get something set up on Facebook mm -hmm. for you. So that you can join in all the fun and chat with each other. Mm -hmm. And and we'd really like to get to know some of you, too, online. Yeah. Well, we'd really like to get to know all of you online. Right. <laughs> right. But see some of your projects and, you know, uh -huh. what you're working on. And maybe give us ideas, too. So mm -hmm. that would be Because fun. it's a whole different kind of planning for us. Yes. But um, we're working on it diligently. Yes, In we fact, are. we're making calls today while we're on, in the car on the way. I'm not calling because I'm <laughs> driving, but I can listen and, and chime in. <laughs> so we will let you know as soon as there's more. Uh, Kay, Kent, Kay Kern said she's having a ball binge watching Floss Tube as she only discovered it recently. And then she said, Laura, was that early chat group the one with Ellen Chester on it? I was there, too, on Friday evenings, I think. Um, I was in an early um, AOL chat group that had Marilyn Levitt Emblem in it because she used to be Mar Leaves on AOL, and oh. that was exciting. But no, the one that, um, that I was referring to last week, um, some of my friends used to call it Pit Viper Network. <laughs> because it could get really nasty. That sounds bad. And it kind of reminded me of um, DOS because you had to exit and get into it a different way. And I mean, it was early, early, early on. So it's too complicated for me. Yeah. And um, somebody else had said, and I don't know if Nancy got it in here. Somebody else had said that they wondered if it was one of the early Google groups. And no, it was. those are all much later. I mean, wow. that, that AOL group wow. is later than, everything is later than this one that I was in. Oh, okay. And I don't even, maybe I, I got there through one of the AOL groups, the early, early, early AOL groups, but... It was a really roundabout way to get there, and I just don't remember what they called it. So, uh, it's just this little part. Oh, Sony Mutiar, I'm sure I just butchered your name. Um, it says, I was wondering how to keep track of what you're doing. I did see open a book, but I haven't found a method of keeping track of my projects and stuff. Can you share that? Well, I have to show you that. I have a really pretty notebook. It's Purple gorgeous. is her favorite color. Did you know that? But what's in here <laughs> are all of our notes for floss tube, and it says what we're going to do, and it's just what we use to follow that. Um, how do I keep track? How do you keep track of your what you're doing, Nancy? You only stitch one at a time. <laughs> That's right. But I do have a spreadsheet that I try to keep up, mm -hmm. and... Um, it, sometimes it helps, sometimes it doesn't, because it's at home, and I'll be at the <laughs> shop, so it doesn't really work. So you need to put it on sheets on so something. that you could share it with yourself, right? Something. Um, so, so that is a good idea, that you could put it on sheets if you have that available. That's what our... Yeah, mine aren't called sheets on my end. They're called oh, that on your end. What are yours called? Google, um, Excel. Huh. Okay, so look on your computer. <laughs> you should have something that will work with what you have that would let you create a spreadsheet. Yeah. Um, I'll have to think about that because I think I can go through if I pull it over that way and mm -hmm. find it. And I tend to keep um, a bag. I have a, a tub next to where I sit in the living room that has a lot of projects in it that are either ready to go or already started or things I want to kit up. So that if I'm getting ready to leave and go somewhere, I can just grab yeah. and stuff it in a bag and go. Yeah. Um, I have a bigger bag because we're going on a little bit longer trip today. And it has a few things in it so that I can choose from different charts. But 
Um, I kind of do a screaming rotation, which means <laughs> that whatever screams the loudest oh. gets the attention. Okay. I was just lost on that one. <laughs> now, now, for me, I keep I do keep all of my kitted stuff on a shelf down here. So that if I want to just look at what I have kitted, I can go through that. We could actually turn this and show that if oh, you want God, to show that. Oh, that shelf's messy. <laughs> but, and I, I try, I've got to go back through my shelf again and get it cleaned up. But I try to separate down all my patterns, you know, like if there's a season or a holiday that I stitch for. I try to keep those in particular areas. Now, currently, my charts are separated... Um, Mostly by season or theme. Mm -hmm. So like I have that Christmas, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Easter, Valentine's Day. Um, but I also have things like where um, where Valentine's Day is, any pattern with a heart is in there. And um, I don't have a separate um, St. Patrick's section oh. because I just put it in with my spring charts. Yeah. Um, but I also have like a section that I've divided out for florals because I really like a lot of florals. And, and when I'm in the mood for something like that, I want to go look at them all together. Yeah. I've recently started pulling all of my Rosewood Manor in together. Mm. Okay. I tend to keep my lavender and lace together, hmm. all together. Okay. And, um, you know, I haven't put my blackbird all together, but that really bugs me because then I think, <laughs> I know I have this blackbird chart and I can't find it because it's in another uh, section. So I've been thinking about going back and putting all my stash together by designer. I think it changes all the time, mm -hmm. you know. And part of it is that I like to play in my stash yeah. every once in a while. Who doesn't? Yeah, and and that's a good time to organize and rearrange uh -huh. and and you get more familiar with where things are right so right. and hopefully you find that second third fourth chart that you bought the same uh, yes <laughs> uh someone last week asked about a shop in new orleans yeah and jody segrist answered and she said she lives in the southwest corner of mississippi about an hour away from new orleans and she's not been able to find any cross stitching stores in her neck of the woods um she stitches strictly by stash she says she used to live in ohio and acquired quite a lot there or she buys from online so if anybody else is out there and knows of a shop in the New Orleans area, I think Jody would appreciate that also. Uh -huh. <laughs> so please comment. We yes. a couple of you helped out with some things this week. Yeah, um, zipper bags. Yes. Wow, what those a deal were on those. Great. Yes, I, I was stunned. We need to order some of those yes, together. We do. So we do. and but but please help out because this is a great community. And um, we belong to a group online that's uh, Kansas Stitchers, and they allow us to be honorary members since yeah, we're Missouri. Missouri. But we have both had occasion to be looking for something, something yeah. specific. Yeah. And, you know, when I have exhausted everything I can think of, it suddenly hits me that I belong to this fabulous group. <laughs> yeah. And I go in and post and say, does anybody have this? Um, I needed probably this much floss to finish a piece, and I posted, and one of the ladies said, I have that. You can have that. That's no big deal. Um, I was missing one chart in a seasonal series, and a lady sent it to me and said, you don't need to send me anything. It's fine. I've already yeah. stitched the one that I want from there, so I'm just happy it has a home. That's nice. And yeah. you? Oh yeah, I've asked for different patterns that I haven't been able to find. Mm -hmm. I one time there was one that it was nowhere. I couldn't even find the name of it. You know, I knew who designed it. That was it. But um, I put it out there, and one of the gals came back and said, "Oh yeah, I've got that. I'll send it to you." <laughs> So, and okay. you guys have done that too. I mean, mm -hmm. you've answered and said, oh, we know what that is. Yes. And we love that. So, it's yes, great. please. Thank please you. comment. Please talk to each other. That's that's wonderful. Uh-huh. So, we, we like love that. that. <laughs> uh, next, Nancy. Poets? Yeah. Uh, when you show fibers, could you tell the names? Well, you know, yeah. 
We just, <laughs> thank you. Thanks because, for the reminder. You know, think about those things. Yes, because sometimes I just think we're like, I just want to oh. get it show. I just want to show you. You know, you and and your comment made us both go. Oh. Yeah. Why aren't we doing that? <laughs> we should be doing that. So that was really funny. And yeah. thank you thank for the you. reminder. We like reminders like that, too. Yes. That's yes. why I say we love the constructive criticism uh -huh. because we can use it. Oh, yeah. So, uh, Bindi Stitchy. Oh, she's so sweet. She, she says we sweet. can call her whatever we want. <laughs> but I will really do my best to say Bindi Stitchy. And it was Michelle's birthday this month. Oh. Happy birthday, Michelle. And any of you that have not watched her, you should go over and watch her. She is participating this year in an Alzheimer's walk. Um, and it's to it's to help fund research for it. And she has um she has set up a way for you to um donate to the walk. Oh, nice. And she has a goal that she set that she would like to make. And I think in just a week or two weeks, she had already raised two hundred seventy-five dollars, and it's something really important to her. And if you donate this month, it's um, her birthday month, so she feels like you're sending her birthday Aww, love. Sweet. Yeah. So please go out there and do that. That's I think that's something really important. Um, she liked our two pieces that were the same. How long have you been stitching together that you have so many finishes? And do you always stitch them simultaneously? Well, um, <laughs> Nancy has been back to stitching for... I think we figured the other day nine or ten years. I now. think so. And um, most of the things that we've shown, we've stitched at the same time. I was trying to think back through them. Voice of the Shepherd was at the same time. Mm -hmm. um, our birds, Tis the Season, that was mm -hmm. at the same time. Um, what else did we show? I'm I'm going blank a little here. I know. Um, well, sometimes we will kit together at the same time and do it. You know, and but, that's really interesting because yeah, we just don't do different. the same things. Um, but. Sometimes also, we'll see what the other one has done, and we're like, "Oh, I want to do that one too." Points at a house. Points at a house. I think I, we did it. If at we the didn't same time. do it at the same time, we did it really close yeah. to each other. But um, and I think that's it. That I think that's all we've so shown. Far. However, today we will be showing you one that I stitched years ago, and um, Nancy decided that she really liked it and mm -hmm. so she stitched it as well yeah so years after me and hers looks very different from mine <laughs> yeah so um and michelle is in for two b's and abc's yay and we on pink of you were <laughs> yes and we love that oh speaking of that um i emailed kathy at cc and company and she um she let us know that on Rosewood Manor's site, it says that they will not be reprinting that chart. Yes. Um, right now, she can get the chart from both of her suppliers. She's willing to kit it up. Um, she would have. She has lots of fabric in her shop. Yeah, and flosses, as yes. you've seen. Yes, and if there was something specific that you wanted, she would probably be able to figure out how to get that. Uh-huh. Um, so please, please, please feel free to contact Kathy at CCN Company. Um, her phone number is 816-229-2950. And we'll link her and put that phone number below, yeah. too. But It's if exciting. You, it is. And we're we're really looking forward to yeah. doing that. May 8th is yes. when we start. Yes. So that was actually my note at the bottom. But, you know. That's okay. It came up. Yes. Um. Oh, and we are, you'll see a little bit later on here, we have a few chart giveaways, because we're on Michelle, I want to say this. Oh. Uh, we have a few chart giveaways. I was um, quickly going through to find some things, and I found some duplicate charts. So today I'm going to hold them up and see if anybody wants them. Um, and our last one was Linda Shad. Uh, she was saying, thanks so much for showing the cross-stitch shop. Oh, the um, at Picture This Plus. Yes. 
I'm really glad that we stopped because that shop is so overwhelming. Mm -hmm. And, Mm -hmm. you know, that was a pretty good long shop tour. Yeah, it was. It was. So, um, and she did have a question. Who makes the wonderful butterfly piece you made last year? Oh, that's the one that I showed you that was round and it's in all blues and purples. It is so gorgeous. I stitched mine on desert sky linen and that has little hints of blue and purple and it's oh it's, it's really so pretty. soft gray and brown it's mm-hmm. oh um and that one is by ginger and spice and i want to go back and stitch some of the other things out of that chart but um i i did reply back on our on our floss yeah. tube channel but if anybody else was interested that's ginger and spice i'm sure that marilyn has that in stock because she doesn't leave models out, really, right. unless she has right. access to the charts. Um, the chart is an old one. A lot of things that we're showing are old. Uh-huh. And <laughs> I know we're creating some problems for some of you. Yeah, I'm really sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so if we find I, those... I mean, they're new to us, a lot of them, you know. Well, so... or they're... I have a... Or we've dug them out and they feel new again. Yeah, I... I've been stitching... For more than 30 years, cross stitching for more than 30 years. And I still have some of the first charts that I bought. I mean, it's there are things that I love. And I regularly go through and de stash. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. it's, um, we'll try and help you out if we can. But, uh-huh. you know. Okay, so those were our shout outs and questions. Mm-hmm. So finishes, previous finishes. What would you like to show, Nancy? I want to show this piece. It is by Silver Silver Creek Creek Samplers. Samplers. And I believe it's called North Wind. I call it Poor Bird. (laughs) But then it's a long one. So I wanted to show you what we've done here. Get a little closer so you can see. And I'll take it all the way down to the bottom. So that's the whole piece. And I call it Poor Bird because as you go along through the saying, it says, Poor Bird, Poor Thing, (laughs) Poor Thing. So I like that. But I tell you, when I was stitching it, I didn't think I was ever going to finish sowing seed and raising (laughs) the barn. I thought I they would take forever. And one thing I want to show with it is, I don't know if she's done, but... Look at her no, backing. <laughs> it looks like barn. Yeah. And it, it really goes really well with it. Yeah, it's a barn wood fabric that I had. and I bought it especially for that. And then I like the little twig that I I just folded the top over, found a twig, and used some uh, twine to hang it. So I like it real well. See the barn wood piece on the back. <laughs> it's very pretty. I really like it. And then I got here this week without a finish again because we're leaving and, you know, my brain just isn't always on. But I said, oh, I can show a previous finish because (laughs) they're on my wall. I've made things for my sister. Oh, my gosh, this is so heavy. So the one I have today is Mirabilia's Titania, Queen of the Fairies. And this is before I knew about pretty fabrics. Yeah. Um, and she still is really pretty colors, even with it. Mm-hmm. So this is what she looks like. Let's see if I can, if I turn her that there way, I don't go. get quite so much. Do you need a hand? I might if I go for it. So this one has just, I mean, it's all DMC. Um, but Nora is so good about coming up with all of the, um, making everything show just with the floss. I just think it's wonderful. And this thing is full of beads and treasures. And it's just really, it's one that I really enjoyed stitching. It's not a me thing. It's a me thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and that makes it fun for me that I get to do something. Oh, I know. These are the treasures right up here at the top on her. Mm. Up on the top of her wings. But um, it's just... I enjoy stitching for other people, even when it's not something that is something that I would, I would necessarily have. So, thank you. Thank you. Will it sit there? 
If we hear a crash, it's I'm going to be I'll in trouble. I'll cry. <laughs> you remember what? That you said um, you could tell if I really like something when you give me a gift because I'm really quiet. <laughs> and when she gave me that, I was like, oh, my God. And I could just not speak. So I really loved it. <laughs> One week I'm going to have to bring a piece that I gave my sister-in-law, Sharon, and I'll have to tell you that story because it cracks me up. So, yeah. Um, Sharon is a real sweetheart, and I have been excessively ornery to her, and, and it's kind of fun. She's a good sport, though. So she that is. That makes it even more fun. Mm -hmm. So, okay. So then the next thing we wanted to do was to compare another piece for you. And today's... Um, piece comes from the Autumn Samplers leaflet from Prairie Schooler, and um, this one is just called Autumn. Yeah. This also has the Clear Moon Sampler and the Thanksgiving Sampler. And this is what the chart looks like. And we did this one, which you'll see in a minute. And this was Prairie well, no. Schooler. Laura did all three of yeah. them. Prairie Schooler book number 66. Um, I sent mine out in a round robin and mine has been done. Well, I sent the first one out in a round robin and mine has been done for a long time. But I did them all on one piece of fabric. Let's show them all together first. Which makes really cool. And really, um, I only had this one done. And then... This one. Yeah, this one. So after Nancy <laughs> Your stitched... Your fingers weren't quite that long, Laura. <laughs> after Nancy stitched, then I went ahead. I had this one started. And I changed Behind the Moon to purple because I wanted my grapes down here to be purple. And then I did this one. And I had thought, oh, that one looks so fussy. I don't know if I want to mess with all that. It was not fussy. It was not hard. It's it was beautiful. not anything. And it was a lot of fun. So this... Yeah. Am I in there? Well, no, no. Go on. I always get this confused. Why don't okay. you just kind of fold it? This is the one that Nancy and I did alike. And I get teased about those squirrels, that they don't look like squirrels. But you know what? I love it. And it changes color. So Nancy did, I think, pretty much the exact colors. Well, no. No, you, I tweaked a couple of my colors. You did. Because, see, my yellow is brighter. Mm -hmm. And this, you did blue, yeah. and this is real burgundy. Mm -hmm. So, I did mine, of course, on different fabric. Years later makes a big difference. 1914 is when I did it. Or 19, 2014. Ooh, 1914. <laughs> we are very well preserved. <laughs> That's great. Oh, goodness. <laughs> so, here's what I did. And see, there was those crazy squirrels. They're fun for me, I think. I don't I I know we always say, Oh, I don't think it's showing right, but I'm sure it will when we yeah. see it back. This is um one of my favorite fabrics to stitch on for fall. And I got it, I believe, from Silk Weavers. And I don't is this the one that's the marshmallow? No, this is not the marshmallow. <laughs> but it's got um yellows and Golds and oranges and reds and a little bit of green. All of that all through here. So. And her frame, if you hold it up real close, her frame is really cool because it looks like the tree. It's bird's eye maple. And it is beautiful. It really is. When I, you know, it cost me a little bit more, but when I saw that, I thought, that is the frame for this piece. Okay, keep yours up there. I and will. then I'll hold mine by. Mine is stitched on 32 count dark cappuccino from um, R and R Reproductions. So, this is what they look like together. You want to pull up? A mine little? didn't look quite that dark until it put it next to yours. Mm -hmm. And you can see her colors. Mine are definitely it, mine are what was called for. Mm -hmm. And then I tweaked mine out a little bit so they would show better on the fabric itself. So, so that's cute. it. Cute together. And we both love them. Oh yeah. So, and I'm jealous because Nancy has hers framed, but you know, again, mine are like this and I have this idea that I'm just leaving them together to frame them. So I either just need to go with one great big frame and be done or figure out some way to run 
something in between, but I don't know that I even need to. I might. You know, I really kind of like them. So. That kind of makes you work too hard for it. A little bit. <laughs> so the next one that we have is. Stash. Stash. You can go. And okay. I'll put this away. How about that? All right. Well, I just have a little bit of stash, not very much. Um. So, the first thing I got is called Halloween Moon by Needle, is that an and bling designs? No, Needle, no, bling, needle bling designs. Bling. And it's Happy Halloween, because I like stitching Halloween, and I love cats. See that crazy bat up there? So, I got this, and this was gifted to me, <laughs> it's got the backing fabric, see, by a friend of mine, Judy, of ours, Judy Starkey. So, she gave me that. And then when we were at Picture This Plus, I got a new piece of fabric. It is bashful. So what color do you think it is? Pink. I'm on a pink craze, okay? I don't know what the deal is. <laughs> but, and see, you can't hardly see it. It's just a hint of pink. And I don't know if I put it next to my shirt, if that comes out pinkier. I don't know. But. I don't know, but here's the thing. Hold yours up. Nancy's is barely there pink, but look at mine. I bought the same color, and mine is even, even lighter. And mine's a 28 Cashel. And so is mine. Wow. So, um, yeah, so when Marilyn does these, they don't all come out the same, mm -hmm. and that's the the glory the of them. Mm -hmm. uh, and when you go to Maryland shop, we showed you guys that whole big tables. Uh -huh. It used to be one table. All the bins. Uh, with the fabric on it. And she encourages you to take the fabric out and look at it and um, choose the one that you really want. Is this more stash? Yes. Cool. A little bit more. So then I got this in the mail. Uh, from Beach, yes. What's it called? Oh. oh, I can't think of who. I'll look and see is. if you. Beach Cottage. That's what Stitchers. I want to say. Stitcher, I think. So I've got the the Welcome Spring from Little House Needleworks, and it's a free a freebie sampler. Sample freebie free. I'll get it out. A free Freebie chart. pattern. And then it came with the three flosses, with the purchase of the three flosses. And these are Cute Sugar names. Plum. They're all by Classic Color Works. So we've got Sugar Plum, Shabby Sheep. <laughs> love that. And Prairie Grass. So it's just barely hinted green, kind of a, a bronzy color. I don't see it, so I'm just So to... there are the three together, so you can see those. They're going to make a really cute pattern here. I did see something else fun, though. And then the last thing <laughs> I got was Plum Street Samplers, Jack's, oh. <laughs> Jack's Sweet Shop, and it's Wilhelmina. So I know a lot of you have... Wilhelmina. Uh-huh. That's what I said, Wilhelmina. <laughs> Sounded like Will. So I've got her. Really like this little lamb. I think it's so cute. A lot of you already stitching her. Then I went ahead and got the um, Blushing Beauty, which is Crescent Colors. I got that one because it changes so much. I wanted to have that. That is pretty. And I may get some of the other colors too because... The variegation really shows pretty on this piece, so I may want to go ahead and do it. I'll just hit, I wanted to get the chart and see which colors actually were the ones that showed up in the design. Mm -hmm. Are you using your shabby sheep on it? <laughs> Probably not. I don't know. Because I think it calls for honey, honey, bunny, honey for him. And I have that in three different colors, three different shades. <laughs> so that is my stash now. Okay. I just saw this when I was looking for the other one. So this is Sheila, Sheila Castle with Nancy and I. We had such a good time That's meeting her. That's a terrible her. picture. It that. is. 
And the other one, she took a picture of us and I'll, I'll just show you part of this. <laughs> but that's the other picture that Sheila took of us so that she could prove to her husband and her mother that she really did need us. <laughs> it was really sweet, really sweet. That was good. Okay, so my stash, uh, I showed you the one piece of fabric. Well, I couldn't stand it. She had one of her new colors in that's just new since market and it is so, so pretty. This is called Feldspar and I have 28 count Cashel. So this is what it looks like on this side and I don't know if it changes that much. Well, it does because I can see that. But um, that's the other side too. So I'll decide which side I want to stitch on and what I want that to look like. And then we went on from um, Picture This Plus out to um, McPherson, Kansas. Mm -hmm. Hi, Amberly. Thank Hi. you for hosting. It was wonderful. And the Kansas Stitchers had a get together. And when we do, we sometimes have what we call a garage sale. So people will put things up that they have previously stitched. So one that I have is from, I think it's from Country Garden Stitchery. Yes, it's from Country Garden Stitchery, and it's these really pretty flowers. Are they pansies? I think they're pansies. And um, I found somebody else was selling this, and I thought, wouldn't those flowers be cute on that fabric? Somehow, I missed both of those. <laughs> and she went through before me. Yeah. That's what's funny, is she went through before me. And I have not stitched on a check yet, so this will be a fun thing for me to do. Mm -hmm. And then also at that same sale, I found, um, which one did I? I found this one, uh, Lizzie Kate, A Good Night, Santa 04. I love him in his fun striped PJs. That just is cute. And then the um, one of our friends came back and said, well, did you see the one that I had in there? This one's called Merry Friends, Santa 03. And there he is. And look at the bunny. And uh, I think it's a dog down there. Pretty cute. So I got those. And then um, our friend Judy gave me something as well. So I got this cute design from J Designs by Julie. And I love this. Pumpkins for sale. <laughs> it's just a cute little piece. It and it came with everything to finish it. So it's it's really going to be fun Frame to do. All, right? Well, it's a, you mount it. Okay. So. Okay, cute. And then uh, I picked up my sister the other day and she said, I got something for you. So my sister gave me some Mary Arden Petites. Yay! I found them. I just, I don't know why. I think the needles came up when I was on um, Stitch and Frog on that site. And I thought, oh, well, I don't need any, but I want to see if they have those ones <laughs> Laura talks about all the time. And lo and behold, there they were. So... And I do love these. These are such nice needles, so I will and, enjoy that. You know, my hands are not very big, but those things look so tiny. Okay, so I want to show you this. Wait, put your other hand up. Oh. Look at this. I mean, I yes, can true. I can curl <laughs> over her. And I use the petite yeah. needles. I don't know how you do. <laughs> and I, I mean, I do have big hands. I can't wear uh, the standard bangle bracelets. I can't get them over. It's really sad because she'll find some beautiful ones and then try to put it on. It's like, oh. <laughs> and really, uh, you can tell I don't wear a lot of jewelry anyway. I think I have some little bitty plain silver hoops on today. And, but, you know, I don't wear much. Nancy has. I normally have oh, rings on, but have I have a, on. I have a rash on my hand, and it's spread to my other hand, so I just took all my rings off, so it wouldn't <laughs> aggravate it. I, I aggravated enough doing this all the time. <laughs> She's planning, my pretties. 
Uh, so that was that. So, Nancy, we're up to current projects and plans. All right. Yay. What are you working on? Well, I have a little piece that I started. I was going to do it for a gift exchange that I'm in. It's by Hands On Design, and it's called Love. So this is what it is. And I started it Monday at lunch. And this is where I'm at. Let me put this behind it. That's where I'm at. That's great. You're moving fast. It's really a quick, quick stitch. So I really just have to finish putting the blue around it and then put pink. It makes it look lace all the way around. Add the hearts and I'm done. Now, you're. this is 28 count? Well, I don't know. Oh, it's what was it's in it. It's 32. Huh? Okay. Weeks Dye Works, Dolphin. What was getting me, and I'm not going to show the chart, but I want you to see, look how big the chart is. That's lovely. Yeah, it's nice. It's a nice, easy to follow. I can see it really well. Mm-hmm. So, and it just does, it stitches really fast. So, the one thing I didn't realize was, see that white? It is cattail. And it see it's got over dye in it. Uh huh. I couldn't see it when I was looking at the floss itself, but you can see if I get close enough. I think you'll be able to see. On the L is where she showed the me. L and the V and the E. Well, on all the letters, you can really see the over dye portion. But cattail by it is Weeks Dye Works. Okay, and it used Sanguine and uh, by Weeks by Weeks, and then. Gentle Arch Uniform Blue. Yeah, that's what I'm doing here. It's really pretty. So, it's been a fun piece to do. I, I like it real well. And then, <laughs> my other piece, and sampler, Threadwork Primitives. You know, I've been working on it for a little bit. I got so excited last Friday night, thought I was all done. I got all my letters in and everything. And then, when did it hit me? Tuesday. When we got home, yeah. No, Tuesday. Um, I was sitting there thinking. I was showing, you know what happened was I was showing it to the girls at work. And remember I had some red stitched in at the bottom and I said I wasn't sure about that. It was in the right place. So I pulled that out. Well, it dawned on me that I hadn't done the border on it. So I'm still not done. But there it is. It's just a straight stitch around the border, and then I do an extra, so it's a double stitching there, and I will be done. So hopefully this time, next week, I will have a finish. <laughs> so which one are you working me. on? I'm taking both of them. And you're going to finish both? Yeah. Okay. I, um, you know, I was moving along really, really well on my Halloween Eve, and when we went... Um, to stitch this weekend, I thought, you know, I want to work on this other piece. So I pulled, pulled out my 2008 Mystery Bonus Sampler from Blackbird Designs. And I'm so sorry. I understand that some of these charts, what did they tell us? They would cost like $75 a piece yeah. for them. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Because I, I know that you see things and you would like to stitch them. And I do apologize for that. But yeah, because they're on eBay now, and you know those people are crazy. They I understand you want to make a little money, but sometimes you know. Well, it's like the one that we were gonna do in a in a sow, the three of us. Oh yeah, Quaker Garden. Yeah, I tried to look that up to find it, and it was ninety five dollars. Now, that's a tad bit ridiculous. Yeah, and they're from, the thing is that they're from the Loose Feathers group, which I get it. I mean, that was an exclusive thing, but, you know, I feel like if we're going to share and spread our stitchy kindness, we need to do it. Yeah, <laughs> you eBay people need to, too. <laughs> you can make some money on me. I don't care. Yeah, I mean, I think... Don't... I want to think that I paid like $9 for this. If you charge me $15, I'd probably be okay. Yeah. 
because I would want it. But I'm probably not going to turn around and sell my things like that. I mean, no. when we say garage sale, I didn't show you any of the pricing on them. But when we say garage sale, we are getting, you know, like a quarter and 50 cents. Well, yeah, because and... your one pattern here with the pansies is 25 cents. Mm -hmm. the so Lucy Kate Santa was a buck. You know, we're, we're just wanting people to take them and, and use them. Yeah. But we're not making money. No. I, we all trade these back and forth. And, yeah, anyway. So this is what I've gotten done. Um, and I was, I should fold this part in because then I can see better. I put in the greenery on this. I got all the way up here and I did some on the other side too. And I don't know if that's what I'll work on this weekend or not, but that's the progress that I had. <laughs> yeah. And I did feel good because I had some progress on it and that makes me happy. Then um, also, I um, I am on Stitch Mania, and on the 18th of every month, um, it's New Start Day, and I chose a couple of things. One of them is the Spring Violets by um, Hands to Work, and I love this. Um, I saw this out at CC and Company, and it was done differently on different fabric, and I liked it a little better. That way it fit my colors better. I don't have enough of a start to show you, and really what I have is, um, is a Cafe Kona linen, and I'm thinking that maybe that's not one I want to do, that I want to convert it even again. Oh, okay. So I'm going to take that with me for this weekend and convert it again and probably... Oh my gosh, do you think you're going to find some fabric and stuff? Oh, maybe. Yeah. You know, <laughs> you've seen two shops from us. Wait until you see the next one. Yes. So, um, and but then the other one that I did really start is um, this spring sampler from Sisters and Best Friends. If this is out of print, when I get done with this series, I will be giving this series away. I love them. But that bunny is hysterical. And I did the first one on 25 count. And so I thought that was kind of fun. And I'm doing the second one on this piece that I had That's in my cute. stash. from. Uh -huh. It's a solo linen from um, um, Silk, Weaver. Silk Weaver. And the threads that I used... Um, I know it calls for it calls for sampler threads in sable, avocado, blue spruce, bittersweet, pumpkin patch, brandy, forest glade, and cranberries. So not very many. Now I did not have blue spruce, so I used deep sea, which really that's the word down here, and it looks really good with my fabric. Mm -hmm. So that was a good one. And then the other one, I don't, and I haven't used it yet. Um, I don't have cranberry, and I'm going to use claret in my, uh, it's for the heart. i got to get my finger to it. It's for the heart up here. And again, I added the word spring down below here. And I'm, I have a little bit of space, and I'm thinking about what will go there because the bunny has... A heart and a star hanging from his ears so I'm thinking maybe I can work in a little flower or a little like the center of the flower down here and then some petals come okay, out okay that's so a little cute. half flower yeah. so those are my plans and probably I will finish stitching this bunny because the 25 count is ooh la la easy on my <laughs> eyes and it's kind of fun and it, it's gone really quickly good then um, I wanted to do a chart giveaway. Okay. I was in looking for something, and I found that I have duplicates. That never happens to any of you, I'm sure. Never, ever. So I'm going to give these away. Please don't say giveaway or any of those words that would draw the, the people to us that we don't want. Right. Um, but the first one I have is Trail Creek Farm, and it's a little Susie, and it's called Poinsettia in a Pot. And it's a really cute little one. If you would like to stitch this, then you just need to say, I would like to stitch the Poinsettia, and I will draw next week. Okay. Now, somehow, 
I ended up with three of this next one, so I'm giving away two of them. That's cool. And it's from Trail Creek Farm also. I mean, how many of you remember that Trail Creek Farm always had these bright green patterns? I've never seen them before. Oh. So. <laughs> and this one is called Gift of My Life. Um, I've stitched a couple in this series, and I really enjoy them. Um, she charted them all in silken colors, which... If you get to do that, it's it's worth it just for the feel, and that's lovely. But I have two of these. So if you would like to stitch this, then you should say, I want to stitch the gifts, and I will draw two of you to give that one away. Then I believe I told you about this one, and um, it um, it's by A Needle and Fred, and it's called favorite things. And I have this one started. I'm giving it to Nancy because it's on Lugana. It's on beautiful Lugana. And I just can't make myself stitch on it. I just, the fabric for me, I, it's, I don't know. I used to have a friend who <laughs> said that she, she couldn't knit or crochet because the wool made her teeth feel funny. Oh. <laughs> and that's my, that's how I equate it. It, Using the fabric just really bothers me that much. So I've told you all I'm a linen snob, and there is I can still appreciate how beautiful they are. Nancy does beautiful things. <laughs> so, but if you would like those, please, please, please comment, and we will we will get these given out next week. Next week we will film, probably not on Saturday. No, we won't. If you're in the Kansas City area or going to be in the Kansas City area, I know it's Easter weekend. However, we are um, hosting a get-together at CC and Company at 9.30 in the morning in Blue Springs, Missouri. Mm -hmm. And then when we finish there, we're heading over to the Panera Bread uh, on Coronado, Coronado Drive. Off of uh, I-70. Off of Blue. Oh, Adams Dairy Adams Parkway. Adams Dairy Parkway. I always want to call it the wrong thing. <laughs> so it's I-70 and Adams Dairy Parkway, yeah. pretty much. Um, and yes, please come. Um, the shop opens at 930, and we'll be out there stitching probably for a long time. I, I don't know how long it'll be. Yeah, we'll eat, we'll eat lunch there, mm -hmm. and then stitch, gab, get to know each other, have mm -hmm. some fun. So, if you're in the area, please just come on in. Yeah. Um, if we, we'll try and have some directions maybe written out that we can leave at the counter at CC and Company. Oh, okay. So that... They can probably direct you down, too. Yeah, they're really they good about exactly that. exactly where it was. So, uh, the next thing we wanted to talk about quickly, we already did, was our stitch along, which is Rosewood Manor, two B's and ABC's. Remember, call Kathy at CC and Company, and she will kit it up. Yeah. Um, however you would like her to and get that out to you. They surge their fabric, so you will Makes get it, it really nice. ready to go. Yes. So, and then the last thing, you want to talk about that? Um, well, you know, we've made our 1,000 subscriber mark, and we've picked out some stuff that we're going to do, but we, of course, don't have it ready yet because we're gallivanting all over town. <laughs> We are girls on the moon. Yes, we are. So we will get that worked up and um, hopefully figure out a question to ask so that we can get a winner for the 1,000 subscriber mark that we just had. Mm -hmm. We did buy one thing mm -hmm. at Picture This Plus. Yes, we did that. And then we got some stuff from Joann's. So it's going to be a little bit... But we're going to take care of you. <laughs> and who knows? We might get some more today. Yeah, who knows? Well, <laughs> maybe not today. Maybe, t well, not today, but Friday, this Tomorrow, weekend. Tomorrow, yeah. Oh, I did see one of the comments that we didn't get in there uh, to talk about was somebody had commented, you girls need some needle minders. And uh, oh, I didn't see and that. they laughed about it and said, you girls need some needle minders. Um, and I think it's on a previous video. Oh, okay. Because somebody's catching up with us. Okay. But um, we do both have a few. Yeah. Not very many. I have one in every project. Like, I've got one in The Love. I've got one in Anne. I've got one in my um, 
little sheep that I'm working on. But you probably have how many? Maybe uh, four or five. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. And I, I have, love them though. Yeah, I have fewer than ten. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. um, what I am learning from watching Floss Tube, and I don't know if Nancy's seen this, is that there are a lot of companies out there on Etsy making some fabulous, fabulous yes. needle, needle minders. minders. I saw some that are books, and uh, you know my favorite book ever is Jane Eyre. Mm -hmm. And I saw a little Jane Eyre, and I saw some Jane Austen ones, yeah. and Very I've cute. seen lots of really cute things. So. Um, yes, we, we do need to look and buy more needle minders, but I think I want to order some from Etsy just because I want to get some of those. Oh, yeah. we both got a needle minder last week. No. You didn't get one? Mm -mm. I did. I would have to dig through my bag. Well, and... Um, we need to get going. Yeah, I hate to tell you this. We need to get on the road. <laughs> and then my son is having band practice here today, so if we don't start and get done... You're not going to be able to hear us. <laughs> so, she's Nancy. And she's Laura. And, and we're we the are Addicted, addicted sisters. sisters. So, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.